Well guys, in this video we will go over what is the latest pain around GameStop stock. I do have a small position in GameStop as well and in this video we will go over the latest news. Uh, there is a big shift coming in the company, in the structure and the business model. So for the last couple of uh, trading sessions GameStop is downtrending and as of article that was published today on Reuters we're seeing that uh, GameStop currently is looking to replace the current CEO. So GameStop is looking for new uh, CEO to replace George Sherman as it pivots from brick and mortar locations to the e-commerce business. This will be uh, one of the biggest shakeups of the company since Ryan Cohen and uh, the co-founder and former uh, chief executive of the online pet uh, company Chewy joined as a board member. So many changes uh, since Ryan Cohen take over the company. We saw that the CFO was changed. Now he's looking to change the CEO. This is very important because uh, obviously the whole interest uh, for the short sellers in the hedge funds uh, are shifting because if before they didn't see any perspective for the future business uh, move or the business model of GameStop, now things look completely different. Obviously Ryan Cohen wants to uh, have 100% of the sales going through the e-commerce, going to the website, which definitely will cut cost and will give the company different uh, position on the market. We can think about this similar case with AMC, right? During the last year in 2020, when all the cinemas were closed, it was very easy and uh, make sense decision for all the hedge funds to short the real life theaters, the real life cinemas, because everything was focused on the streaming. All the people were paying for streaming services, watching the cinemas right here, right now. But what we're seeing right now is when theaters and cinemas reopen, people are back in the theaters. So it makes sense now for uh, hedge funds to short all the streaming service providers because uh, people uh, will prefer to watch the cinemas and will prefer the movie premieres at the cinemas, right? Not at your home. So this is something that will definitely make sense for the short sellers. Going back to uh, GameStop, we're seeing that the CEO replacement is the latest string of the changes that Ryan Cohen is actually pursuing to changing the company and business model in the future. Uh, George Sherman, uh, who has been the CEO of the company since 2019. So definitely this person uh, contribute a lot for the company and this person definitely has a lot to be praised for. But in the future market uh, conditions, this person doesn't have so much experience in the e-commerce. And this is the direction in which Rankoin wants to turn the business for. Rankoin wants to have 100% of the sales. And a lot of people, analysts, are expecting Rankoin to have a direct uh, competitive position against Amazon. So if usually people go and purchase their games or their consoles through the Amazon or other websites, uh, analysts are expecting Rankoin to turn GameStop into e-commerce platform which will be directly competing with Amazon and other e-commerce retailers. And here comes the question, why the stock is down? Well, until they found, first of all, we need to get a confirmation. Unfortunately, we don't have any confirmation from the company about this news, okay? First, we need a confirmation from the company that they are looking, they are working with the headhunters to find the new CEO. During this period, until they find the new CEO, it's kind of an uncertainty, right? So this is causing uh, partially, again, the stock price to go down. We have a major sell-offs in general in the stock market. So this is contributing as well. But what we're seeing for the future is that when they find the new CEO, when we see the new business model in place, selling and acquiring 100% of the customers of the sales only through the e-commerce, I believe that the stock price again will go up above at least $200 per share. Probably if you go on your app in your brokerage app and look what is the inflow and the outflow of GameStop, I'm using Weibo, uh, you can see that people are keep buying uh, tons of shares from GameStop. Uh, people are buying uh, on, on the current levels of $140, $150 per share. They're buying 200, 300 shares on average. Uh, and this is uh, the proof that people are actually really bullish on the company. People are not just hanging around waiting for a short squeeze. A lot of those people are actually people from the gaming industry. Uh, people who use uh, the services of the company, right? They buy the products. So these people are actually very, very bullish on the company. Thanks again for watching, guys. Subscribe to the channel, like this video and come back for more.